Dream has been facing communication issues between the parents and the members, setting them back to square one. You see, there was a big opportunity for the children to go to a Manchester Fisher Cats baseball game, throw the first pitch, go onto the field, and have a great day. Unfortunately, last minute, not enough children signed up because they would miss Muslim school. In the past, the children have been able to miss Muslim school, but not this year, setting Dream back with more attempts to improve communication issues. Last minute we had a bunch of kids that were dropping out and then when we brought it up to our other families they were like, even the kids told us before we asked their parents that they weren't going to be allowed to, able to go because a lot of our refugee families they go to Muslim school on Saturdays and Sundays so we were going to have to leave at 9 a.m. and they don't get out of school until 11 so none of the parents were going to let them go which was kind of a bummer because we had 25 tickets pre-ordered to go, but now we're just going to hold on to those tickets and use them next year. Professor Bishop explains the importance of catering to all cultures in Dream so that one doesn't miss out on activities. It's really about understanding lots of different cultures and I think trying to be flexible with those. Um, part of that is about communication and part of it is about trying to personalize and differentiate um, based on the various cultures. But I would absolutely uh, advise not to try to um, choose one or the, over the other. Kids are already torn by these two different cultures and we need to be able to support them in both. Dream is able to fund an event like the Fisher Cats game because they do a great job funding along with some help from SGA. Josh Berry, treasurer of SGA, explains further. Dream does not rely too much on SGA. They're very self-sufficient. Um, they We very rarely have any issues with Dream. They're very good about completing all of their paperwork and uh, budget requests on time. Uh, so it's very rare that we even really hear from them because they are so self-sufficient. Uh, they do a good job of fundraising when they need to and being realistic when they ask for money from us. Uh, generally, I, think, I believe last year Dream asked for about $2,000 and they probably received about half of it and with that half they were able to maximize it to last the entire year and really deliver a great year uh, for what they were trying to do. Dream doesn't want to see the tickets go to waste so they hope that with further notice to the parents the children will be able to go to a Manchester Fisher Cats baseball game one that's not on the same day as their Muslim school. I'm Melissa Renuk reporting on Dream.